I'm Rebecca Gordon. I'm Sylvia Gordon, and we're going to try to explain the Indiana Pathways for Aging program. So people started calling right away a couple months ago, and they're like, what is happening? Well, first off, so this is happening in Indiana that we know of. We know other states that this conversion is happening to. So and we don't know what it's called in your state. Still watch this because it's going to happen to you. And we're going to give you as much as we know. So it is managed Medicaid. So it's for your customers 60 and over on Medicare, Medicaid. So this is targeting your duels, right? Right. So let's say you are Medicaid. I am uh, private insurance. I am the DSNP. So I have <laughs> said now that we have three companies in Indiana. They got the contract in Indiana. I've got the contract. And so what they have done is they have mailed letters that went out in February. I think our commercial started in January here saying when you get the letter pick, you need to enroll in one of these three Medicaid managers. Managers, yeah. They're... So either United Healthcare, Humana, or Blue Cross. Got to pick one of them. Then your client started calling in right away and they're like, I thought you were my agent. I thought you sold me Aetna. I thought you sold me right. Well, here, what, what's happening? Else. And then agents, of course, are panicking. What's happening? I have a huge decent book of business. Am I losing it right. all? So all they're doing is now they're managing the Medicaid. The, so Rebecca's the Medicaid. So, so that's easy. Instead of the state FSSA managing the Medicaid for these duels, private insurance companies are going to manage the Medicaid. Now they can still have a decent. I'm the healthcare part. They can still have a decent. So your your business is not in jeopardy technically. Okay, so read between the lines here. So let's say your client gets a letter, they don't do anything, they get auto-enrolled and they get enrolled in... We'll just say company X. Company X. X. But they have their DSNP with company Y. Hmm. Doesn't match up, which is fine. Which is fine. Except that there's a great marketing opportunity for company X that now has the relationship on the Medicaid to say, hey, we have a great DSNP. You might want to try it. So you could lose your DSNP business See? Because of this. They should they should match. Yeah, so when they ask you, which one should I choose? It's not that easy. I, your first inclination is match whichever one that we have the DSNP with. So if I sold you Humana, choose Humana. But you still have to check to see if their doctors are in the Humana Medicaid network. Right. You still have, your doctors might not be in the network, might not be that easy. And then what happens, and this is where we might be a little muddy, if next year I enroll in a different one. So now I'm in, I enrolled in V. Right. So they got their letters and all their mass mailings to say, call in and mail in and tell us which one you want. And if they didn't, they're auto-enrolled. So then they'll get their welcome packets in June. Again, could start a flurry of letters to you if they just got auto-enrolled and they're still like, what happened? Yeah, now? What happened? I thought you sold me Humana and now I'm in Blue Cross. Yeah. So be prepared for that. It's the Medicaid, not the DSNP. The DSNP that you sold them is still intact. It goes into effect July 1st. Now remember, your DSNP people can always switch right. once per quarter except the last quarter of the year. So your DSNP business could be in jeopardy if you sold a lot of DSNP with not United Healthcare. Humana or Blue Cross. Well, that's your very first thing you're going to need to <laughs> right. really hone in on on your book of business is check that out first. Because if this company has the relationship with them, now they can call them, email them, they all that marketing, them. right? And they have the relationship to say, hey, we really think you should check out our DSNIP. So Makes sense. technically, you don't have to do anything. Technically, this is not going to impact you. Your agent of record is still protected. Technically, this is no threat to your book of business. <laughs> you read between the lines. If you learned something, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.